got a pair. I feel like the core is smaller than an apple. Pear is an underrated fruit, but it's so good. January 3rd today, which is a Wednesday, and my original plan was to do a week in my life starting on Monday, but I took a little break from vlogging over the holidays, and vlogging is such a habit for me, and if I stop, I just completely forget about picking up my camera. So... We're starting on Wednesday and this is actually gonna be a really short week for me because Saturday morning I have a flight to LA and then from LA we're doing a cruise and I'm going with my family. Um, it's just like a five day cruise, I believe, but I will be vlogging that as well. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. I thought I would just vlog the few days prior to that. I've actually decided to do a no spend January besides the necessities, of course. I've never really been one to track my finances, but I have been lately and I just realized how much I spend I tend to just buy whatever I want at any point like I don't really put too much thought into it I just bought the aura ring I did buy this on sale it was a boxing day sale so I saved a hundred dollars and for me this was something I've been thinking about for a while I'm glad that I picked it up when it was on sale because I don't think they do sales very often but six hundred dollars is still pricey and there's also a monthly subscription I also just got a subscription to natural cycles which is a hundred dollars for the year when you break it down it's not that much but still it's just like I just all the these things all these new expenses yeah so January I'm gonna do my best to not buy anything that I don't need I bought a bunch of art last week I bought three different prints and I actually really like this one but I'm gonna bring it back just because I don't really have a spot in mind and so girl math we're making money today because I'm bringing that back I think I'm gonna keep the other ones and I'll show you where I'm gonna put them because I've been living in my condo now for almost two years and I haven't put a single thing on the wall it was just about time to get some art those purchases were from last month I also bought this last month eventually I would like to move and just with like inflation and housing costs I just I'm realizing I'm gonna have to be more proactive with my saving somehow I spent a thousand dollars on groceries last month okay and I don't really like to put a lot of focus on money going out I would rather focus on money coming in and just making more money versus the money that's leaving I feel like that's more of like a lack mindset and I know like financially that might not sound very responsible but that is just what works for me and so I just I put more focus on the income versus the outcome and so I don't really like to complain about prices and again money leaving my bank account but just like a thousand dollars on groceries normally it's around five or six so I don't know how that happened but I just I need to be a little bit more responsible with some of my spending groceries are obviously essential but i shouldn't be paying a thousand dollars so yeah that is like main goal for january is to not spend and save more i did get my nails done yesterday though so that was a january spend but i'm going on vacation my nails looked like trash so anyways that is one thing that i did spend money on that i did not need to do I'm jumping in to quickly talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is AG1. I have been drinking AG1 for a year now, and it's just become part of my morning routine. I think the reason why it's been so easy to incorporate is because it does not have a bad flavor. I think a lot of supplement powders have a really unpleasant taste, and it's really hard to stick with. The flavor is not intense. It's not gross at all. I actually like to add lemon to mine, and it just enhances the flavor. My sister and her boyfriend drink this, as well as a couple friends, and they all said that they like... The taste so. so that is definitely a big plus because when something tastes gross you're probably not going to stick with it very well i also add the d3 and k2 drops and my offer is still active so if you order through the link you're going to get one of these for free and this lasts a full year and you're also going to get five of the travel packs for free i also feel like i'm doing something good for my health when i drink ag1 it's really supporting foundational nutrition and it can help fill in gaps that you might be missing from your food it does contain 75 different vitamins minerals and superfoods and they're all sourced from whole food ingredients it's also really simplified my vitamin routine because this does contain so many vitamins that I was previously taking as separate pills. My year-long partnership has come to an end, but I will continue to incorporate this in my routine. I really do love this product. If you guys want to check it out, 
my link will be below just got home from the gym i did a really chill workout because my knee has been hurting and i don't know what i did to it i'm trying to not overexert myself and just let it heal but i want to get back into not intense workouts but like proper workouts i just did a treadmill walk and a stretch today it was like 30 minutes when i was leaving a girl was walking into the gym and she had a leg brace on and i'm like what are you doing in the gym? Not letting her injury stop her, but here I am complaining about my knee. <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch. I am trying to be strategic with my food right now because I don't wanna do a grocery shop before I leave. Technically it's just Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three days. I have green beans, I have a Greek salad, I have salmon in the freezer, so I think I'll be fine. I wanted to show you guys the other pieces of art that I picked up that I'm gonna keep. So this is the only one that I've put up so far. I like the size, it takes up a good chunk of the wall and I think the colors go really well with everything else that I have going on. And especially the frame, it's this walnut color that matches the console perfectly so that will be staying here it's just a nice flower field this one i'm probably going to put up in the bathroom i got it because i like the colors on it i was actually thinking of painting the bathroom a color similar to this kind of like a peachy beige um probably more on the pink side though but i don't know if i'm gonna get around to doing that i'm still undecided but i thought i would bring some of that color in to the room with this i also want to get new fluffy fluffy peachy towels i've also been thinking about maybe doing wallpaper just on this one wall here but i think i would only do that if i ended up painting the other walls and i would have it like a complementary color to the wallpaper i don't know i also i have these baskets over here I feel like the colors all tie in together. So I think I'm just going to put it like directly above the towel rack. The birds are labeled one and two. I don't know why. And I don't really like that there's a spider. But overall, I like it. It kind of has like a vintage look. I had a shower, so my hair is still half wet. My nights have been ending really early because it gets so dark out. Around five or six, I have dinner. And then I watch a TV show for like hours. And that has been my routine lately. I kind of want to get out of it because I've been watching like two, three hours of TV at night. I'm really in a Netflix era at the moment and I don't want to stay in it to be honest. I made this Greek salad yesterday and originally I was going to do this with salmon. I forgot to take salmon out of the freezer and I'm kind of lazy. So I think I'm going to have this as an appetizer and then I'm going to make a box of Annie's mac and cheese. And that's the dinner situation tonight. What's it going to be tonight? Four cheese or shells and white cheddar. I'm gonna do this one. but I just realized that the blender is in the dishwasher. So the dishwasher is on washing it currently. I don't really want to pull that out right now. Maybe we'll do that for lunch. We're going to do an energy drink today. I only have these on occasion. I have so many though. I always give them to my sister and my friends. Cherry slush. I'm trying to get pumped up because I really want to get back into a proper workout routine. I know I was kind of talking about this already. Don't know what's going on with my knee. I think today I'm going to do deadlifts maybe some machine workouts for the legs. And I also wanna get back into booty band workouts because I definitely notice a difference when I use these. I feel like I stopped for a while. I think like on social media, people were kind of making fun of people who did more like Pilates style workouts and like banded workouts and saying like, these weren't effective and you need to use weights. I don't know why I let that affect my decision because I really like these bands, especially if you combine these with weights, I feel like they're very effective. But anyways, I'm gonna start using my band again. I'm 
booking a flight right now and I, I always have so much anxiety thinking that I'm gonna do something wrong. Since we're doing no spend January, I'm using my points. I have a bunch of points that I've just been saving. I said I was gonna use it for a trip. So this is the prime time to use it. So I'm not actually spending money. I also need a pedicure and this is working out perfectly. So I have a loyalty stamp card from the nail salon that I normally go to and my stamp card is full, which means I get a free pedicure. So it's perfect. Like, did it work? You are not signed in? Oh my God. I'm currently packing. We leave really early in the morning tomorrow, so I need to finish this up today. Packing seriously takes me a full day. I, I started this yesterday, but I'm realizing I'm bringing mostly dresses and realistically, I don't think I'm gonna wanna wear dresses every day, but I already have my bathing suits, uh, workout stuff, and then this is the rest of the outfits that I'm packing. And then I'm trying to figure out shoes as well. My sister and I are gonna split a checked luggage. And I'm always so paranoid that it's gonna go missing. So I might actually put a couple things in my carry-on just in case. Teek is also getting picked up today by Jenny, who you used to live with. She's gonna stay with her while we're gone. Yeah, please ignore my appearance at the moment, but I'm just realizing I'm probably not gonna have any service when I'm on the cruise. So I need to make sure that this vlog is ready. It's already posted for Monday and also my podcast. So I'm gonna be on my computer for the next few hours. Taking a little break from editing, I always forget how long it can take to edit a video. Before we sign out, I did want to talk about a couple things. The first thing, I recently posted a health routine, hormone related video talking about uh, everything that I was doing to hopefully get my period back. And it's not that I had lost it, I've just had a very irregular cycle for my entire life. I have found things that work. My problem is I'll do these things, I'll get my period, and then I stop doing the things and it's just been the cycle. So I've decided I'm actually gonna stick with my supplements, with my routine, and I'm probably gonna stick with it for like six months or maybe until I've had three consecutive cycles. Um, but anyways, I am packing my supplements. This is something I don't do very often. Um, I'm just bringing my Cycle Smart and NAC, and then I have magnesium for at night. So those are just the three that I'm bringing. I'm actually gonna be switching over from Cycle Smart to a different supplement that I found that has the same ingredients in it, but it's from a more reputable supplement company. I didn't realize that the Lorna Vanderheid brand has been bought out by Jameson, which is not not a supplement brand that I would personally recommend, but it is one that I've continued to use because it does work. But there's three specific ingredients that they use in it that I think are the ones that work for me. So I found this other blend, it's by AOR. AOR makes really good combinations of vitamins or like blended supplements. I'm doing my no spend January, so I'm not gonna buy it right now because I don't think I'm gonna need it until February anyways. I'm still gonna finish up the Cycle Smart and I think that will get me through January and then I'll order the AOR one. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll definitely share that supplement after I've tried it out. I'll see if I like it and all of that. Just wanted to give a little update on that and we will be staying consistent through vacation. And then another thing I talked about recently, it might've been on the podcast, but one of my goals for 2024 is to have a better work-life balance. And I told myself that I'm not gonna film on weekends. This one's really difficult because my work life is so intertwined with my personal life and I decided I want to film the cruise and the cruise is from a Saturday to a Thursday or Saturday to Wednesday. No, the cruise starts on Sunday. Okay, so tomorrow, which is Saturday, we're flying to LA. So I'm not gonna film Saturday. I'm not gonna film the travel day. Sunday is the day that we get on the cruise and that is when I'm gonna start filming again. So tomorrow I'm taking the day off and I need to finish edits today to pre-schedule my upload so I won't be editing tomorrow or Sunday either. And so that is how 
I am finding balance this weekend. Those were the little updates for anyone that cares. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. A podcast episode will be going live the same day that this video is going live. So I'll have a link in the description box if you guys want to check that out. I think this episode we're talking about alcohol. You can check that out if you want. I hope you guys all have an amazing week, amazing life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye-bye.